Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. So I'm standing here in the library and I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's this incredible Christmas tree behind me and over my right shoulder. And, and the work that went in to getting this place ready for the Christmas season has really been incredible. I mean, it took a number of people to come out here and to get the tree in place and to make it sturdy enough that it wouldn't fall down. And in addition to that, it took, you know, ladders and lifts and all sorts of things to get the decorations up high and to, to get them down low. And it's just really been fun to watch it. And that's not even mentioning the fact that down at the end, we have this entire Fontanini village that has been uh, donated to the library that Mark Wilkie comes and sets up every year. And the work that's gone into getting the library ready uh, to honor and celebrate the Christmas season has really been profound. And hi, and it, this is library warm up time. So people are arriving and uh, I feel bad imposing on them while I shoot this video. They had no knowledge I was doing it, but hey, it's your video thought for the day. So hang in there. So anyway, I was thinking about this because I was reading Christmas sermons over the weekend. And uh, one of them that I referenced in class yesterday was a Christmas sermon that was preached around 500 AD by a guy named Casarius. And the, the, the Christmas sermon was really bent around the idea of preparing our hearts for Christmas. And I loved the illustration that was used. The illustration was one of if, if you were going to invite someone special into your house, uh, uh, someone very, very special. Wouldn't you get your house ready for them? And, and he went into great detail. I thought, boy, my wife works hard to get our lives ready for stuff. These guys worked hard to get the library ready for stuff. It's nothing compared to uh, what this guy was thinking about. I mean, he not only had them cleaning the house and cleaning the furniture and, and making sure the food's there, he had them repainting the house if it needs to be repainted. Just the great links we'll go to to prepare for a holiday season or a special guest is pretty incredible if you think about it. And then Casarius turned the question upside down and said, now here is your Christmas sermon. You are called to be in a relationship with God. God is coming into your life. We Christians see that in the incarnation, God becoming human to, to save us. But, but it's, a, it's a story that's complete through the Old Testament. God is constantly coming to his people, saying, you know, hear me, be in a relationship with me. And then the question becomes one of what are we doing in our lives to prepare ourselves for such? So I sent an email out uh, uh, to all of our kids uh, uh, about our grandkids saying, you know, send us Christmas lists. Tell us what it is that, that the kids would like and what you would like for Christmas because we want to get ready for Christmas. You're okay. Just walk on through and ignore me. Uh, we want to get ready for Christmas. So we send these, these emails out and they send back lists. And that's a great way to get ready for Christmas. But the most important way to get ready for Christmas is to tend to our own thoughts and our spiritual lives and our walk with God. Because it's as we focus on Him, as we get our lives in, in order, as we clean up, as we decorate, as we do those festive things to draw us into focus with who God is. That's the true idea behind getting ready for Christmas. It's more than the Christmas meal. It's more than the gifts. It's more than the decorations. It's, it's drawing our hearts into one accord with the God who seeks us out. Now this year, I'm really excited in video thoughts for the day. I'm gonna be warming up and getting through the, the, the time, not just for Christmas, but Hanukkah runs parallel to Christmas. Hanukkah is a celebration that Jesus celebrated uh, when he was on earth. So we're going to have some, some great opportunities during these video thoughts for the day to not only be get, looking at Christmas, but to look at Hanukkah and to be getting our hearts ready for what God can do in us today.
That's your video thought for the day. Bye.